It's just too early uh, for me to try to speculate on how this is going to have an impact on the community. Cautious optimism in Lordstown tonight as the community that just lost its economic engine learns another business may take over the shuttered GM plant. President Donald Trump shocked many in the Mahoning Valley this morning when he tweeted the company Workhorse could start producing electric trucks there. Now some experts say Workhorse is no GM. I'm not that impressed because this company that's coming in to make electric trucks, it isn't going to make that many. Remember the Lordstown plant, what can that make? 240,000 vehicles a year on two shifts. No way is this company going to come anywhere close to making that number of trucks. Well, there is still hope in the air of uh, a new hope in Lordstown from the announcement. And News 5's Amanda Van Allen spoke with some people there who are hoping that a new owner will breathe, breathe life back into the small town. The Lordstown plant has been just like this for months. Oddly quiet, no cars here in the parking lot, but I spoke to folks at one small business. They tell me they're hoping things change here so that their business and the entire community can turn things around. It's 1190. They've been a staple in the community for years, and about half of their customers used to work at the General Motors plant in Lordstown. Business hasn't dropped real bad yet, but there's going to be a ripple effect. It's just when it comes. So when the GM plant closed in March, Jack Fess, who's the manager of Sunrise Inn, said he not only lost customers, he lost friends. A lot of people moved away. Over 400 have moved away, so they're all gone. So that's money that's gone from the area. But the president's tweet left folks feeling more than optimistic. I'm just glad to see it. I hope some of those people that lost their job that haven't left the area get their jobs back. So if this new company, Workhorse, does take over the plant, how simple would it be for them to get started? When you reduce the volume and move away from volume auto manufacturing, there are some things that are similar and some things that are quite different. That's Sue Helper. She's an economics professor at Case Western. She's cautiously optimistic about the new company making it work. I think some questions about this company workhorse that uh, is uh, a fairly small company that was financially struggling. Uh, do they actually have the capability of expanding? This would be a much larger operation than they've had in the past. But Fess says anyone setting up shop there is good news. The next generation coming in and the young people working there, I want to see them successful. Professor Helper also adds she's worried about so many expectations being placed on this new company and a long-term plan not really being thought through. In Lordstown, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.